Real Life NPCs. My Twitter feed finally brought me something useful for once. Hello everyone, this is Mr. Obvious, and today on Twitter.com. So, we have a woman named Savannah H, and she has a show called Savannah Says. So, I saw this clip, and I thought it would be a perfect opportunity to examine real life NPCs. Have you ever met an NPC out in the wild, grazing? on the grass, mooing at the sky. We're gonna examine, and I will explain some of the brainwashing, some of the psychological influences that have gone into the NPC and explain their programming. Now, here it says, yesterday, Trump came to Austin and I wanted to find out the worst thing he said or did that finally drove these Americans to protest him. Let's find out, folks. What does the NPC think? What's the biggest thing that Trump has said? What is the biggest action he's taken that's really pushed you to want to come protest? Uh, the, the count, the list is endless. I, I don't think I could come up with a single one. Can you give me one specific thing that he's done? What's the biggest thing to you specifically that he's done? No, um, just it's it's from day one. He was just an evil, uh, evil mother. So as you can see, when asked what exactly Trump said that made these people want to protest, the first NPC, the one in the hat, as you can see here, he has no clue what Trump has said. He's not sure. He's not sure at all. Uh, and you see the wheels jamming in his head. So he just repeats the programming, and the programming's very simple. The media told me that Trump was evil. So he's evil. Evil! He has no answer. So that's the first thing about the NPC. They're brainless. Um, well, of course, I'm going to make America great and that he's going to bring jobs and that he's taking care of everybody. You heard that right, folks. Trump's most evil statement is that he's going to bring back jobs. How could you? How could you make me work? What are you, a capitalist? And that he's taking care of everybody and that Wait, so one of the worst things that he oh, said no, no, is... No, no, those are the worst things, and also that um, when he said that uh, he was going to help the people from Syria and he never did, I thought that was the, one of the worst things ever. So the funny thing about this woman is that three out of the, like, three out of four things she said were actually very positive things. Oh, he's going to bring back jobs. Oh, he's going to take care of everyone. Oh, he's going to help people. What exactly is she protesting here? And that's number two. NPCs can't see what's right in front of them. NPCs are blind. Just his entire person, the persona that he is, everything about him, just to me. Yes, everything about him. He just lies. Everything he does is. What's one of the biggest lies that really angered you? Uh, Michael, do you have something? It starts from the time he is, he is inaugurated, you know, all the way from the crowd size all the way to, uh, you know, oh, it's a perfect phone call, what he's saying now with his, uh, with his phone calls. It's, 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 Did you read the transcript? Uh, no, I didn't read the transcript, but I listened to the, I listened to, I've been following it on the news. What is one of the... So there's a lot to unpack there. The first woman doesn't have an answer, so she passes it off to her boomer husband. Isn't that amazing? Isn't it amazing how everyone on the left, they're feminists until, they're feminists until anything happens. Oh honey, save me honey, please, I need patriarchy in my life. <laughs> I need you to help me. Oh, and then did you hear him? Oh, Trump's a liar, oh he's horrible, he lied about the impeachment. Oh, he's lying about Mueller, oh ho ho. Did you actually read the Mueller report, sir? Um, no, but I saw it on the news. Which brings us to number three. NPCs lie, <laughs> though they don't even know it. What is one of the most divisive things that Trump has said to you that really pushed you to want to come protest today? Uh, I can't think right now. <laughs> no, just one thing, just one big thing that Trump did. Babe, answer that, answer, answer that, answer that, answer that for her. Maybe another exit. Let's go there, let's go there. No? Just one thing? Which brings us to our last point. NPCs, NPCs are blue-pilled. Now, for those of you that are familiar with the Matrix, which I assume many of you are, there are two pills. The red pill, which represents the truth about the world and not being able to return after seeing the truth. And the blue pill, which represents living in a fake world, in a fantasy world, in a world that does not exist, in short, a world of lies. The NPC took the blue pill 
a long time ago, and despite the red pill being available to them, refused to take it. It was because of the sweet, sweet lies and not wanting to face reality that they stopped thinking for themselves, that they stopped looking at the world, that they started lying to themselves, that they live in the state they are today. Absolutely brainless drones who just repeat what they hear on the news. You see, the real life NPC doesn't think for himself, he doesn't know for himself, and he doesn't tell the truth. He chose a false reality to taste that sweet fake steak. I know this steak doesn't exist. Ignorance is bliss. So we're gonna go over some replies and then look at the full video. And I'm going to recommend Savannah H's channel because uh, she's a small channel, but this video is gold. It completely exposes the psychology of the NPC. Michael Huffman says, I fear for this great nation of hard-won freedom when so many are content in their ignorance and unfounded contempt of those who wish to preserve those freedoms which they themselves are so fortunate to enjoy. MAGA. And did you notice that? Oh, he said make America great again. How horrible. Like, really? These people are so delusional. They actually believe that a positive message, make America great, is bad. It's almost like they don't want America to be great. Victor M. Navis Jr. says, great job showing how much they know. Rob replies, that's all thanks to the wonderful mainstream media. Bunch of sheep doing what the TV tells them to. Yes, you see, when you're mindless, when you are blind, blind to the truth, this is what allows you to be programmed. You see, the average NPC, they don't need to think. The TV, the box with the, the pictures in it, with the people in the box, it tells them what to think. It tells them what to do. It programs them for them. And they get to live a comfy, blind life because they don't have to do it themselves. You see, being an NPC comes from wanting to believe that your bubble, that what you perceive the world is actually real. Because the truth is hard. Swallowing the red pill is hard. And these people want the easy route. What they don't understand is the blue pill is the hard route. <sighs> what a better name to describe what I just said. Truth hurts sometimes, says. This is sad. These people are so upset with President Trump, yet they can't even name something, not even one thing, that he has done to deserve their protest. I feel bad for them. They have totally embarrassed themselves. As usual, they got zero facts, only feels, and orange man bad. So... Here we are. This is Sav Says channel. She has 1,000 subscribers, so um, it may be worth a visit for you. You might enjoy her work, and while I'm at it, I would also like to recommend Sinatra Says. I've actually been watching his video for some time. I find his reactions uh, to, to different videos extremely well thought out and critical. I'm actually a little bit envious of his ability to truly break down the stupidity of what people are saying. So this is another channel I recommend. But here we are. Let's see what other gems are in this video. So maybe we can gleam some more NPC psychology. Well, I'm protesting a man who claims to be a Christian and violates everything that Jesus ever preached in the Gospels. I believe he's a heretic. I believe that he is committing blasphemy every day in office claiming to be a Christian. I want Trump and Pete. So there we have the average boomer, a uh, religious person, a Christian. You know, I really hate the argument and I'm not religious, but I will make this argument. I really hate the argument that Christianity is about being some cuck who just listens to Jesus and, oh, Jesus was so nice. He loved everybody. He, he forgave everyone. That's so bullshit. Oh, just forgive your enemies, even if they're blowing you up. Just forgive your enemies, even if they're going to shank you. Wasn't Jesus nailed to a cross? Like, if he didn't have the cheat codes from Daddy God, he wouldn't have responded. And he would have been screwed. And, and first of all, Who's the one who put him on that cross? Oh, you thought we forgot. No, we didn't. I am protesting Trump. <laughs> I am protesting Trump. Someone was pounding the vodka. Is not upholding his lawful oath to support the Constitution. He is... How so? He is... Um, he asked for foreign aid to assist his political position to investigate his political opponent. You know, it's hard to believe how how programmed these people are. I mean, the, the thing about NPCs is she's literally repeating ad verbatim what she saw on the news, on the big box on TV. Oh, oh, she, he, he asked for aid? Uh, I don't like his actions. 
Um, I don't like his ethics. I don't like how he treated the Kurds. I don't like how he's treating immigrant children. And I think that the impeachment uh, is an appropriate move by the House. So this is an example of feels over reels. Okay, so this person doesn't like Trump. They don't like what he does. They don't like his actions. Never mind that Obama did a lot of the same stuff. Um, never mind that because the NPC, they're, they're not aware. They just do what the big box tells them. But it's feels over reels. Imagine letting feelings control your life and determine what your reality is. You see, for me, reality determines my feelings. For the NPC, feelings determine reality. It started when he said he wants to, he thinks it's okay to grab women by the pussy and try to, to, to deliberately persuade a married woman to commit adultery and that he cheated on his own wife when she'd just given birth with a, a porn star. I mean, and that's just the beginning. And <laughs> Absolute Chad lad. Um, so bless this poor girl's heart because, I don't know, just bless this poor, like, bless this woman. No hate. But first of all, people get the whole, oh, he cheated on his wife thing wrong. They were in a sexless marriage, apparently. They, they were not happy. It was like a year of nothing between them. Uh, regardless, just bless this girl's heart. Putting children in cages, taking them away from their parents to punish, to punish the, the parents, these innocent children. See, this is a version of the NPC I can't actually hate too much. This person is just incredibly naive. So when did this children in cages story, like when did this first start happening? God, it was, it's been over a year. Oh, the NPCs. You know, I think that pretty much sums up the story here. You can watch the full video on her channel. I'll leave links in the description. But, you know, I think it goes without saying that these people are real life NPCs. And I hope you enjoyed our little analysis today. But that's merely the obvious. Well, that's all for now, folks. What do you think about this video? What do you think about my analysis? What do you think about the NPC? What, what is it that makes them tick? Be sure to let me know. As always, if you want to support the content that I make, you can join me on Patreon or Subscribestar for as low as $1. Doing so will give you access to Fight Club, a private Discord server. There's also PayPal and Bitcoin options if you want to donate, and sharing the video helps the channel grow. As always, thanks for watching. This has been Mr. Obvious, and I'll see you all next time.